time to move on to a bigger target, the United States Amateur. This final match is between Mr. Tiger Woods of Cypress, California, and Mr. Trip Keeney of McKinney, Texas. An event dominated by future pros of all ages. Winning the Hallowed Championship would get Tiger Woods another step closer to generations of golfing greats. From Francis we met, to Arnold Palmer, Jack Nicklaus, Phil Mickelson, and five-time amateur winner, Bob Jones, who clinched his first championship in 1924. None of that intimidated Tiger Woods though. And in August of 1994, at TPC Sawgrass Stadium course in Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida, he faced off against Trip Keeney for the title. Now Woods, five down. This to win the hole, a birdie putt for Tiger. Got it! Woods and Keeney were friends, but that wasn't going to temper the competition, and the match was a struggle for Tiger throughout. Trip was just <laughs> kicking my butt after the first 18. I was down early on five. If I get to two or three through nine, it was, was the goal. And then I, could, I had a chance going to the back nine, but I had to get it to at least two or three. And then I ended up burning 11 to get it to one down. And then finally, I pulled a rabbit out of my hat on 14. Hit on the right trees, and some kind of punch cut through the trees, end up on the green, and end up making a, a miracle par there. Poor drive at the par five. Second tried to play an heroic shot. Ended up in the fairway bunker well short of the screen. At one point, he was six down. No one had ever come back to win the event after being down that many holes. This is his fifth stroke. A wonderful par. But once again, Tiger Woods was the exception pulling off the greatest turnaround in the championship's 94-year history and becoming the youngest winner of the oldest golf championship in the United States. Tiger Woods is the youngest U.S. amateur champion ever. Could Tiger Woods become golf's next superstar? They'll take him. He's a likable young man, and what a performance here today. I'd hit a really good drive off number nine, and it was the turning point of our match because I hit a couple bad shots, but we're walking down the fairway, and, and uh, Dad and I are probably about 30 yards in front of uh, P and Jay, just enough where Dad was a little bit behind me but could hear it. And Tiger looked over, and Jay said, this guy's kicking my ass. I don't know how we're going to beat him. And then 16, um, the par five, we were down. We were uh, about a foot apart, barely in the right rough. And I hit it, and it, the, the long grass caught the edge of my club and threw it way to the left and kind of under that tree that's in the bunker. And Jerry Pate was announcing our match, and he said, Trip, if you're ever in the same place again, just lay up. So I was like, OK, I was out by a foot, so I just laid it up down there where I have a nice little wedge. And I saw Tiger pull it like a three or four, and I kind of hit my dad like that. I said, maybe what Jerry Pate says is going to come true. And he hits it, and it, it was exactly how Jerry Pate said it was going to be. It was going. It's a big pull rope hook to the left, catches the tree, goes in the middle of the fairway 30 yards short of the green. And then kind of the rest is history. And I was so nervous of hitting off the little kind of a dirty lie, and I ended up knocking it down there. I ended up making birdie there to make the match go all square. And I got lucky as hell on 17, because I hit the, I had a wedge. And ironically enough, okay, I hit the wedge. Look, it should have been in the water. And it hit the fringe, popped up, and stayed. And I remember the putt um, breaking more than I thought. I missed it, you know, low, pretty significantly low. That putt, if you look at it, right before it comes onto the green, it hit something and they kicked it up the hill and went right in the middle of the hole. Got it! Tiger Woods you know goes one up. Probably the toughest thing for me, you know, waiting in the match after it was over with was, you know, hugging my dad and, um, you know, out of respect for Earl and Tiger is letting them have their moment together on the, on the 18th green before I could, you know, say, hey, way to go, bud, you know, you played great. <laughs> There's his father, Earl Woods, 20 years in the Army, did two Vietnam stents as a Green Beret, retired as a lieutenant colonel, once had a Vietnamese friend and colleague who his friends called Tiger, and he named his son in his honor. He has never seen his comrade since he left Vietnam, but how proud he
he would be of his namesake here today. You know, I, I think my impression, first impression, was probably way different than, you know, all of you guys. I mean, my brother and sister were great friends with Tiger. Um, Earl and, and Tiger stayed at my house, you know, prior to as this kind of legend was was growing. And I vividly remember this, as I used a lot of y'all's matches in mine, and my father was caddying for me. And our, our strategy completely going into the event or, or the final was, hey, he was a notoriously slow starter. He got off to a slow start and all three of his, his junior wins. Let's get out there and, and get off to a fast start. And, um, and we all got off to fast starts. We could just <laughs> never, never quite close the deal, but I was never, I didn't worry about the link, you know, the link with him. I wasn't intimidated him, uh, with him at all. I knew he was a, a great player, and um, you know, it's hard to believe that we're sitting around talking about arguably the greatest golfer.